Let's continue on with the invertible matrix theorem. We observed in the last video that these three things are equivalent. Now let's prove that something is equivalent to this. theorem. The matrix A, the n by n matrix A, has n pivot positions if and only if the matrix equation Ax equals zero has only the trivial solution. And even though this is an if and only if statement, we'll prove it um, in one go as follows. Ax equals zero has either only the trivial solution or infinitely many solutions. And that's infinitely many solutions if there are three variables, only the trivial solution if there are only basic variables. So this has only the trivial solution if and only if every variable is basic. Now, Variables are basic if and only if their corresponding column is a pivot column. And A has N columns. Every column is a pivot column if and only if every column contains a pivot position, which is true if and only if. There are n pivot positions. So because each of these is an if and only if statement, we can start up here and get down to this, or we can start down here and go up to this. And we have proven this if and only if statement. So A having n pivot positions is equivalent to Ax equals zero only having the trivial solution. We can add an item to this list. Now we have four things that are equivalent. Moving on, we have to strike a balance between keeping every video at a reasonable length, but also not having like 10 different videos. Fortunately, we don't have to spend a lot of time on this theorem because it's an old one. This theorem comes from section 1.4. 
So we'll add a fifth item to the list. This is equivalent to this. We are still not done by any means, but let's call this video here and we'll pick right up in the next video.